even if you lean, baby Somebody I love was a fiend, baby I don't know the because, it's what I seen, baby Don't lose your faith, just believe, baby God hear all your prayers, don't scream, baby Ask for forgiveness and redeem, baby For whatever you ask, you shall receive, baby It's me, baby People always talking to that trigger squeeze Dog. You guys, you got know the new Look, good. you know, <laughs> we fucking, you know, niggas that, you know, just 100% just do them. We genuine niggas, bro. That's one of the reasons why I love having you on this on this uh, platform right now. I'm not a podcast, I almost said podcast because it's just so popular right now. But first and foremost, you already know the vibes, the museum TV. My name is Noble. I know I'm not usually the nigga that's just here, but my man Shaka, you know what I'm saying? He's come down with a little cold i think my man put some voodoo on him or some shit my nigga dog i don't know exactly what my nigga <laughs> but shit i'm they here my nigga holding it me. down the skeleton crew here nigga you know what i'm saying <laughs> so nah look fucking it's the museum tv with boss's premiere vlog my name is noble you know the vibes um you know i got my embroidery company rocking a and embroidery if you need custom embroidery services please holler at us um and we'll definitely take care of you um and if we can't take care of you we'll throw that alley to somebody else you know what i'm saying Thanks. We're, we're scoring regardless. Um, other than that, the tenting business is still rocking. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to be starting my tenting school this year. So um, if you're somebody that wants like a, a, new, a skill that you know you can hold for your whole life, you know what I'm saying? Come rock with me. I'll teach you. I've been. Um, this is going to be my fifth year. So this is one of those things that you know I want to bring to the culture, bro. Not just you know these great stories, but what skills can we provide? Also, you feel me? Um, but I digress. So. I'm here with my man, 100 Round Cardo, another Zo. You know I'm Haitian as well. Um, so this is definitely dope to see. Um, you know I'm not somebody that does participation awards, so I'm really here intentionally talking with my dog. You feel me? Um, bro, please tell the people, you know what I'm saying, who you are, how are you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me, man. You know what I'm saying? You've been all over the news lately. they probably seen your face like, who the fuck this nigga? Talk to me, man. <laughs> Man, it's hundred round Cotto, you know, aka Ricky Grams. If you know, you know, Ricky. you know the Godfather. No Ricky, shoot it, did it, it. You feel me? Just you know, I'm here. Shout out my man Cho. Just had his brother. little boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout shout you know what I'm saying? The bros is out here. You know what I'm saying? Confirming the info. Look, Cho, you know the vibe, bro. Yo, shout out. This one's for this one's for my nephew. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Nephew, right? Uh. Gangsta. I ain't got nothing left, but fuck it. There's a there's a bottle next to you though. My nigga, you talking that shit, you talking that shit, it's Ricky Grimes. I mean, I mean if, if you at the gas station, you ain't gonna ask for gas, <laughs> But nah, bro. <laughs> nah, let this guy, bro. Dog, my nigga. So, yo, I never lost a gunfight, mm. allegedly. Yes, sir. You had Chiz fucking um, narrate that shit, bro. Yes, sir. And I love this old connection in Boston, my nigga. Yes, no sir. funny shit, bro. So talk, talk to me like, so what What made you want Chiz to be able to um, narrate the whole project? Yo, the thing about Chiz is that, yo, me and him, just it just so happened that I built a connection with a nigga that had an ill voice for that. That's a fact. And it just so happened that he wanted to be whatever like his his voice his, has been that way since he was like yeah. thirteen, bro. Oh, on dog, I've, I've known him since that long, my nigga. Yeah, he he's one. He seemed like one of them niggas too. You know what I'm saying like, but with him, it's like that's like, man, my connections. Anybody who know me, yo, I'm not the Godfather for free. I'm a Godfather because a king gets the throne and he gets killed. Godfather can nurture you for the rest of your life. You understand? Yo, you care about your Godfather and death. Yeah. You understand? So my thing is just being here and being a nurturer. I'm your cousin. I'm your brother. I'm your best friend. I'm your not friend. I'm your enemy. I'm anything and everything. I'm here. I'm here and I'm indisposable because it, I'm just here for whatever you need me here for. You understand what I'm saying? That's what the Godfather for me is in where I stand as far as you know. Nah, I love that, bro. For uh, everybody I, else. I just for me, bro. I always tell niggas, you know, even myself, you know, with. From the platform standpoint, you know what I'm saying? I can't speak on anything else, but from a platform standpoint, somebody will say the museum TV was kind of like a a foundational piece in terms of this whole Massachusetts thing. That's what people say. It's not, you know, my own words. Um, and when I say that, bro, it's really more so it's like, yo, like, you know, most kings do get their heads cut off, my nigga. That's all that happens to And me. most pioneers are forgotten about. And that's it. And niggas got to be okay with that type of shit. Mm -hmm. You got to be intentional. You got to understand what you do why you do what you do because when you're the first you have to be ready to be the last 
that's the obligation to being the first. One hundred percent. It's being ready to be the last. That's There's a nigga that created the wheel. We don't know who the fuck that nigga is, but I see his rendition everywhere I go in cars, nigga, airplanes, nigga, fucking on the on, on this on this uh, uh camera equipment. You feel me? Like we see that fact. rendition. I mean, we could look at that rendition or we could look at our fingerprint and see the real rendition. Mm. This shit's a divine. It's designed. It ain't not, nobody created nothing. We didn't create nothing. We just we just pulling shit out of nothingness. So when you see something that's really brand new, we acknowledge it. We at that stage in life right now. Mm. We've understood as many retrogrades as we can. Everybody done read as much as they need to be read. Everybody wanna be as woke as they need to be woke. So if everybody's woke, we understand that nothing nothing just happened. Yes, bro. All. And I say that with even like, you know, traumatic experiences. Yes, I say this in the sense of um don't nothing happen to you. It just happened. Hundred percent, my nigga. And it's so all how you adopt, take it. You adopt how you're gonna feel about what happened. Mm -hmm. Period. Make sure the mic is, you know what I'm saying? Oh, pardon the body, bro. I'm you like can't, literally you can't talking. sit there talking all that shit, my nigga niggas ain't here. Pardon the body. Hold you. But yeah, like, you know, you can't you can't allow nothing. Like it's like so put it like that. I could give you a circumstance. God forbid somebody die in front of you. Mm. You could sit here and dwell and cry with them. Or you could understand the fact that you don't even know that person until they died and you didn't care until they died. Mm. So continue to not care because they're going to die anyways. Period. You I understand? respect that, my nigga. Nah, that's yo. It. I ain't trying to get too golly on these motherfuckers, man. This shit is too crazy right now, bro, dog. I really respect, you know, just your thought process, bro, and how you think. I know you're fucking juggling a lot, bro. I know you're juggling a lot and facing a lot right now. Um, but on some real shit, though, you know, just going back to the, the, the title of the project, you know, I never lost I I, I never lost a, a, a gunfight allegedly, my nigga. It's like, yo, bro. Okay, cool. But what message, my nigga, dog, do you, like, what was the moment that had you even name it that, my nigga? It's like, yo, why? Yo, the whole, the, the whole, the whole thing was the allegedly. Because... If you notice the climate of rappers, that everybody going to jail for rapping their lives or whatever. Yeah. J Boy shot this nigga, whatever. We'll J Boy, yo, shout out cool. J Boy, my nigga yeah, J Boy, shout out J Boy. <laughs> Whoever you feel me. <laughs> but my thing is this, right? You ready for this? Y'all forget the constitution stupid. and the thing about it is where they're not locking it up at is what you're naming it. You're not. You're giving it. You're giving it an open stance. You're giving it the spectrum. Sometimes you don't have to give things a spectrum. Mm. Things don't deserve a spectrum all the time. That's Some things need to be isolated. Some things need to be contained. Some things need to be compartmentalized. Yes, sir. So me saying allegedly is because I'm not saying to that say, correctly. And they be bugging that. Yeah, because that's me saying I'm about to talk what I got to talk. And you can't do nothing about it because in writing it says allegedly. It's yes, not sir. real. Yes, sir. It's whatever you want it to be in your mind. Yes, sir. You got to use your discernment. And at the end of the day, a court is not going to wait for your discernment in the sense of my project. Jesus. So it's like, damn, that's the, that's so hard, bro. So it's like you're allowing the, the supporter, the person digesting it to create the fiction or the reality that they want to create. No, I'm just under, I'm making everybody understand the power of words. Mm. You got to understand, I'm not as rich as, uh, uh, as like a young thug. But yeah. he's fighting what he's fighting, right? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where I beat, I beat the feds in tw at 20 years old. Mm. I'm facing life right now, mm. and I be up against the will when it come down to this law. Mm. They don't know the law. Mm. See, let me tell you about the system. This is what I say about the system. Talk your shit, bro. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Now I'm gonna say one thing, and I'll never say it again. That's it. You ready? They knew the law. They don't know the law. Mm. Cause it's continuously changing. The law changes every day. All the time. You ain't in it. If you don't know, if you don't know that legislation passed the law that being black you could run from the police and nothing happened to you, then then there's things that you just don't know. Those are the things. While everybody's updating their iPhones, every time I update iPhone update, go look at the law library and see how many other things updated. Because we got a new law library now where if you caught a case and you got sentenced, whatever you did in your case, if it's a motion, put it's in the it's in the law library automatically. Hundred percent. It's not even that because we got tablets now. We got tablets, we got data, you know what I'm saying? All types of shit that niggas is like, yo, the thing about it during is this we, period of time, I might have had access, but during this period of time, I might not have access as a like company or whatever, Nah, right? the thing about it is I think everybody's understanding that they all have access. Okay. And nothing's off limits. That's the dangerousness of the internet. Nothing's off limits. It's true. You know what I'm trying to say? So Wyclef, Nick, hold on, hold on. Wyclef ahead, said to me, he said, you don't need a deal, you need access. We gave the world access to everything. What do you think is going to happen? Whatever they, everybody wants to happen. 
Mm. You don't know what's going to happen. It's not for you to control. You can control what you got to control because right now the peace is here for everybody to have. Nah, awesome real shit, bro. Um, you had said some shit in a song, bro. Uh, I don't know the exact words, but you said the, uh, you said the like like, along the lines of, do you want to be a cash cow, or do you want beef, nigga? You know what I'm saying? You want beef, or do you want to be a cash cow, my nigga? You let me know. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you know, bro. I know you're fighting what you're fighting, bro. When you're somebody that at this point is able to really speak, like yo. You don't got to be on this type of shit, my nigga, dog, to be lit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know I had to do it, my nigga, dog, but now I'm, I'm showing you that I went through it and I'm still lit. But she don't even have to deal with the fucking... You don't have to hedge the negative sides that I'm after hedging right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but, like, you know, I mean... It's, 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 more it's a part possible. of the game, bro. I'm not trying to, like, that, you know, no, have no, you no, feel no, no type it's of way. Not, you, it's you, a part you, of the game. No, 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 because I'm about to say something. That's why I'm, like, collecting my thoughts. Talk your shit. Um... When it comes to like this right here and what I'm doing, see the thing about me is like nobody's ever done what I'm doing. They tell you you have to leave Massachusetts to blow. Yeah. They tell you you gotta do all of this. I could barely leave the house. <laughs> and what I've done has never been done in New England history. Period. Period. I could sit here and be humble, period. but I'm not being humble by telling you the truth. I'm not not being humble by telling you the truth because I'm yep. telling you the truth. Am I lying? Am I lying? Mm. You don't hear about nobody blowing up off of house arrest in a city like this. It's That's not offending. This Yo, is a bro, real thing. I, I, I don't be recording this early, bro. I don't ever, my nigga, respectfully. And I you respect the fact saying? that you can't. And why did you come? Because I had to. Because Cause I fuck with you. I love your story, my nigga. And it, my bracelet. You Because we had to deal with schedules. I took everybody out of the element for this. So it's like when it comes to this. If we talking, I'm going to give you the truth because it's like you gave me your truth, which mm -hmm. was which meant your schedule. That's all I needed from you to be honest with me. Mm -hmm. That meant everything to me in that moment. From that point, you made a lifelong friend and you didn't even know it. <laughs> but my thing is not for you to know. Respect. It's for you. It's for me to know that when something happens and I know that you need me because I figured you out in a circumstance, I can go and attack again. Mm. And I'll be the one who to, to, to that, that can execute this mission. Yes. And it ain't about being a gangster. It's about being but, resourceful and being, like, you know, understanding your, your surroundings. Understanding that air is this. <sighs> understanding that dog. I can't take care of you without me. I can't make sure you straight. I got to bring the right people here. 100%. You feel me? Nah, Carter, you talking your shit, bro. And um, for me, I guess, for me, it's like, yo, I respect your story and where you, what you've come from, but I don't really want to make this interview about what you've come from and what like you know what i'm saying i don't my nigga to be real with you as as a man that's trying to move forward i don't care you know what i'm saying you're talking about a past that you're trying to fucking grow from you know what i'm saying and i respect that my nigga and i love that because it's just like yo we got a lot of young niggas out here bro that's just working off of narratives my nigga that they don't know where it came from mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they don't know where it came from so I want to move more forward into like your music, bro, because your writing ability, bro, is amazing, my nigga. Gratitude. And I'm going to say this like, yo, it's one of them things, my nigga, where it's like, yo, you don't got to ask if a nigga can rap with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to No, on dogs, my nigga. You don't got to ask if a nigga can rap. It's really more so, I bet, what is he giving me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, like, subject matter? I think that, you know, is more important, my nigga. And I think that's what's. Lit about your music, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Gratitude, gratitude. Me and bro is going crazy over, you know what I'm saying? Tell you block into a memory and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Now the average nigga will sit there and go like, yo, nigga, block into a memory. Oh, this nigga's a menace. Da -da 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 -da. But then you sit there and listen to the song, bro. How long is the song, Big G? All right. First and foremost, the song is five minutes long, nigga. It's 2023. 2023. Nigga, I'm, yo, bro, I'm barely listening to anything past two minutes. I'm going to keep it a million with you. I'm going to keep it a million with you. I'm barely listening to anything past two minutes. If two minutes, it wasn't for me, my nigga, it wasn't for me. Two minutes was enough. Yo, right? This nigga got a five-minute song as his outro. 
Block into a memory with an amazing shorty. I don't know who she is, my nigga. Mel dog. Blackwell. Shout out to Mel Blackwell. Yo, you know what I'm saying? No attempts. Yo, she fucking set the tone, set the vibe, bro. And then you came in, my nigga, dog. It's like she threw the alley, nigga. From half, from not even from half court, from out of bounds, bro. She threw the alley from out of bounds, I, nigga. I, you just I, I, happened I, I to dunk the, that I wrote shit. The whole record. From That's the violins crazy, bro. To the, to the, to That's the, to amazing, everything. bro. That's amazing, my nigga. Everything. Please, please, to, you know. To the beat and everything. Please, like, yo, bro, like, please, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you contribute to your, to your songwriting, bro? Because I think that's really what will make somebody that knows about 100 Round Cardo, Contribute or attribute? Um, I guess both, bro. Because it's really most of like, it's like, for me, it's like, yo, writing like that is very, like, specific, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You didn't just... I'ma just say some cool shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, that was so intentional, my nigga. That's it's, what I'm talking about. It's cause I've been there. Like, so there's three verses on that record. The first verse is the most angry person you could find. Wow. So he came in and he's ready for whatever the hell. He's letting you know why he's like this. Mm. In the verse, I told you, like, I'm coming so hard that I'm letting you know. If I was on death row, I'm appeal my conviction because I'm not argue. I'm not agreeing with Pac. Cause he wasn't supposed to die the way he did. So that's me. That's that's off off the dribble. The first I'm four. Into memory, crazy, bro. Yo, off the I'm dribble. I'm crazy. off the dribble. I'm 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 active. I'm him. Like yeah, we yes, ready. Bro. Second verse. You ready? Second verse is what I used to think like, where I thought I could save everybody. I can help who I can help, and I can't no more. And the third verse is where I lost it all. And at this point, I'm in court and I'm fighting the mm. case that I caught. It don't matter because it's it becomes so ambiguous in the sense of you don't know if I'm talking about a, 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 a nigga that sold your mom drugs that you killed later. If if it was a nigga that you killed because you had to, you don't know what the what it is, but it just shows you how ambiguous somebody dying and somebody leaving and somebody being a memory is. Because at the end of the day, that's all we are. It don't matter what block you want. I could turn into a memory. I don't have to do anything. This nigga is it's, crazy. It'll be a memory regardless if I do something or not. It's a Godfather New England, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I, you know, I hope you feel it too. You know. Hold on, back to what you were saying, and this is why I say I ain't never lost a gunfight. Allegedly. This it, allegedly, this is where it come from. This is where My it come nigga. from. It come from that. Like, what do you mean? For me, one of the biggest things with music is always talking about, you know, you said something in one of the songs where it was like, yo, it sounds more realer when the murder was real or some shit like that. Oh, what I, I say in that, the diddity, the diddity, when yeah, I first came yeah. home, I sent it to Yenny, yo, I sent it to Yenny when I first yeah. came home. <laughs> Yenny was like, oh, no, I'm about to, wait, we got to, nah, we got to wipe that <laughs> out, we got to wipe that out, my nigga. But didn't come to the video, thank you. But anyways, <laughs> but he said that. He was like, yo, that was one of his lines. It was like, a real murder make the song better. Remember? Mm. Yeah, a real murder make the song better. It's a real thing. Like, I mean, what do you want? So, all right, so let's talk about the news, bro. You know, you're, you're all over the news right now. Um, mm-hmm. Somebody go on your page and be like, why is this man all over the news? Mm-hmm. Tell the people why are you all over the news right now? You have a nonprofit rocking right now, my yes, nigga sir. dog. I understand, you know, the circumstances and the past mm-hmm. is what it is, whatever the case may be. But, you know, past don't determine futures. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so talk say, to me, my nigga. I say this, right? So I got a publicist. My publicist. Shout Sasha. out to the publicist. She's doing an amazing job. He's doing amazing, to whoever Sasha. it is. Doing Shout amazing. out to Sasha. She's amazing. Like she's an Sasha, she killing it. She's super duper. She's been in the game 25 years. She's wow. like, she's not the she's not the one. Like literally. She's not. Like, she's literally like yeah. crib two million dollars, like different. Stop playing. She don't with she me. don't got no, you feel me? But she understands me. Mm. She's from Oakland. She understands me and she understands where I come from and she she packages that every time. Yeah. You get me? She treats me like this. She she, she treats me with care. You get so what there's no saying? extortion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my nah. nigga's making sure this shit's smooth. You yo, I, I, yo, come on. You don't talk come about on, extortion. My nigga. No, no. You can't talk extortion. You can't talk about extortion. You can't talk about this up, but not go ahead. Hey yo, bro. anyways, right? Boom. So when it came to her, it it started with her. It started from there. So because of that, I understood my trajectory. I didn't understand it before. So Damn. Me being on the news, it was just everything that I was involved in. So it started with the Books Before Bars program with my brother Vic Mensa. So the Books Before Bars program is what people don't understand is that 
the 40 books on the first list of books before bars is my books. So Vic Mensa sent them books to me while I was incarcerated. Damn. So you got to think about this. You ready? Malik Yusuf is my brother too. So think about this. I got seven calls. I got seven calls, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, bro. Go ahead. I got seven calls. Seven calls on my phone list in jail. I got two of them on my list, right? And I called them both on the same day. And you know what two of them was doing? They was in the studio with Kanye. And that's when I realized I wasn't supposed to be in jail. You understand what I'm saying to you? So let's 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 fast forward the tape. You get what I'm saying? So fast forward the tape of me reading these books that bro sending me in jail, not knowing this is what it is. And mind you, the books before bars program extends off of 93 boys mm. which extends off of no attempts mentors which extends off of no attempts which extends off of shooters music yo i want to wait hold on i'm not done which also yo, extends off yo, of C to hold on wait 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 which also extends off of cwtfb respect man understand what i'm trying to tell you nah yeah there's, there's bro, a there's a push man. being there's something being done here and that's it you know you know, I just, I just got to say, bro, you know, everything that you're saying right now, bro, it's just like, yo, like, you know, everything is calculated and it's intentional. And I think that's what I love the most about, like, you know, like, just like your whole campaign right now, bro, like, for real, for real. Um, you're not out here just, just to do it, bro. I'm grown, bro. You grown, my nigga. Every, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I love it, bro. Um, it's like, it's like, hold on, let me, let me ask you a question. Course, you grown, right? Ahead. You grown, right? I'm 32 on Wednesday. So think about this life, yo. God, God and more life. But listen to what I'm saying. Imagine you ain't had no bread, right? And you need how to go get some bread. Are you going to go out your way and you're going to be a slut out here and go get any dollar you can? Because if you're going to get any dollar you can, you might as well shake cups on every corner. You're going to make 500 a day. Mm-hmm. You understand? Talk but, shit. Are you going to feel like you made 500 at the end of the day? Are you going to feel like a man? Hold are on. you going to no, feel no, like... No, no. Are you going to feel like you made that 500 that day? And are you going to feel good when you spend it? That's where the problem comes in. That's what, a cur that's what currency is. Mm. See, currency is energy. Because when it comes down to a current, a negative or positive, you put those together, you create the most electrifying thing in the world. Mm -hmm. See, when currency is spent well, you know what happens? Good things happen. 100%, brother. Because it's currency. It's being rotated. Yeah, it's being circulated. It's being it's being Look, reciprocated. Talk your shit, bro. I I honestly gotta mention this at this point because this is like one of like my personal gems, my nigga dog. Niggas love talking about the forty eight laws of power, right? Mm -hmm. Niggas love talking about the forty eight laws of power. That's you, bro. Um, and there's like you know negative connotations around it and things like that, bro. But my favorite law, bro, is the law that says as money circulates, power accumulates, my nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the thing about that is, it's what you create is what is what the money is. Mm. Um, look, like I said earlier, man, like I'm a '91 baby, bro. You know what I'm saying? You a Zo nigga, bro. We know what time it was for Zos in the '90s, my nigga. We came up gracefully, my Haitian nigga. Haitian booty scratcher. You I'm know what I'm saying? Hold on, All I'm that. A you know a what it was like? Hold on, wait, wait. I'm a former Haitian booty scratcher. scratcher. As, as now y'all niggas, said, nigga. now y'all niggas need us. Uh, y'all need us. But you know, we digress. But one of yeah, our I don't even digress. Heroes, I don't man. fuck with y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Y'all know what's up. That's how we trashing y'all niggas. In life. <laughs> get nah, my nigga, get nah. my mom, my nigga, dog. Get, get my mom. Here, take your mic back so we can get back to this interview. Take your mic back, bro. Hold, nigga, it. Hold it with respect. Bro, bro. We good, Hold it with respect. I wield the power. Bro. Get my mom. Here, go back. We good. No, hold it with respect, I said. I got you, brother. Hold on. That's enough. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's get right. I got niggas. Hold on. But nah, oh, <laughs> this nigga's no. stupid. Yeah. Nah, let, yo, bro. Thank you so much, my nigga, dog, for the energy, bro. But, you know, I um, I want to speak more so to, like, your relationship with Y Clef, my nigga. Mm. And he's Zo, my nigga. Ain't no way you don't know who a Y Clef is, my nigga. Um, Ain't no um, fucking um, way. Um, um. Point blank and period. You know what I'm saying? Now, on my father's side, nigga, I got cousins talking about, yeah, why cleft the second cousin? Du -du 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 -du. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but talk to me about your relationship with why cleft, my nigga, man. And, um, Yo, you know, well, well, just. I tell people that he's my uncle because he's yes, like, like a nephew. You know what I mean? That, that, that's beautiful. Um, Like, yo, I'm going to keep it tall. Like, I met Clef. I met Clef. Um, I met Clef, and he, like, kind of stuck to me. Mm. You understand? He he invited me to his house. He was like, yo, come through. And this is what I said. I, I said it earlier. I said it again. He told me. He's like, yo. He's like, yo, listen. 
nephew, you don't need a deal. You need access. I'm like, yeah, but I said, I said, I said, I said, but I need streams. He's like, yo, so find somebody for streams. He's like, yo, but, 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 but I need Instagram. So find somebody for that. Mm. He said, yo, I need, I said, he said, yo, everybody you looking for, you can go find them. And this is what the access is because you got the access now. If you it's put true. everybody in position, they all could eat because of who I am. 100%. The thing about it is this. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking drug dealer. No bullshit. Like, I'm going to keep it tall. You know what I asked why, Clef? Mm. I said, yo. Somebody let me see it. Yo, bro, if I say this shit, bro, niggas won't even believe me. But everybody knows. He'll know it's the truth. I went in this crap. We was, we was dead. We was kicking it the whole day. He was like, yo, come talk to me, nephew. He's like, yo, leave your phone in here. Let's go talk. We will talk by the pool. Yo, my daughter's vision, bro. You know what I asked that nigga? I said, yo, I see you got that weed company. He's like, nigga, I sell guns and cocaine. Mm. I need 100 pounds in Massachusetts every month. Mm. Swear to God on everything. That's what mm. I said to him. Mm, and the nigga looked at me and he was like. <laughs> He looked at me, he didn't, like, he, but this is what I did with that. I didn't go over there to try to get a deal. I ain't asked for nothing or nothing. But, fast forward the tape, he picked up the phone for me when I was in, when I was in jail. Wow. I was in jail talking to Wyclef, and he was letting me know what I was missing. He's like, oh, them 100 pounds is worth it now, right? Mm. Is they worth it? Mm. Yo, my thing is this, the people that surround me, they really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, the people, that, they really look at my life. They analyze my life more than damn. I do. They be like, damn, your life is kind of lit, and you don't even see it. Mm. And I never seen it until this case right here. Until I started facing life on the street, it's different. Because I you know, I beat my smacks before. I fought murder before. That's like, that face, facing life is not hard. I beat the feds at 20. But this time, it was with everything that I had to lose that I could possibly. And then not only that, but I came home and God gave me more shit that was worth losing. Mm. He gave me a, oh my God. He gave me a beautiful woman. He gave oh me a God. dope ass career. He let me rock. Shout out to Queen. Shout out to Queen, of course. Look, my corner is on me, my bunzi. New boy, avocado. Every trip. My nigga, run me my money. New parfait sac on ça. Factory, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, bro. Like, I absolutely love your story and how, like, you know, just open you are about everything. And I think that's really what makes it so sticky. You know what I'm saying? I always talk about being sticky. I'm a marketer, bro. I love, you know, ideas moving. Like, I love the idea of how an idea moves. You know what I'm saying? And no matter like, what the idea is, no matter what, and no bro. matter who it comes from. No, exactly. So, hold on, I'm gonna stop you right here. You ready? And I'm going to address this shit with you because I fuck with you. Respect. And I man. respect the fuck out of you and everything you're doing as a black man. Yo, what's up with that boy on the on the, on the, on the Twitter? What's his name? What, what, bro, bro, what is it? You got to talk to me now. Wow. Yeah, we bringing really it to you. want to do this one to go on camera. Nah, I got to do it because you know why? You know mm. what I'm going to do it? You know what I'm going to do it? Yeah, yeah. You know, look at me. Look mm. at me. Because I respect you. And I don't like nobody disrespecting me. So yeah. I want you to address it. Have a voice. Don't ever, yo, my thing is this. People take disrespect and feel like you got to ignore it. Yo, my thing, if somebody's agenda is to disrespect you, they're not going to be the only person disrespecting you. Mm. Yo, 10 years later, you're going to find somebody that disrespects you because of that one person. These people spread poison. So what's up? What's up? What's, what's going on? I'm, I want to hear the story too. We we love it. We, we love, bro, we ain't never seen you on here together. Here we go. <laughs> nah, for real, respectfully. Um, it's just it's just a very sticky situation. I don't have no problem talking about it on camera, my nigga. Um, it's personal. It's very personal, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. involves my, you know what I'm saying, my blood sister. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, we came out the same woman. You feel yeah. me? Um, so it's just like shout you know, out to Zo Lady. No, hundred percent. My mom is everything. Big G. Um, Big Z. But you know, it's it's just one of those situations where you know. Bro, dealing with my sister, my nigga, dog, we end up with my nephew. You know what I'm saying? And I don't fuck with the nigga in no way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's a decision that I made a couple of years ago, and I'm not really moving back on my nigga. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't feel like the nigga is really respectable enough for me to move back on, the, on that statement. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's just one of them things, my nigga, to where it's just like, you know, you let a nigga be who he is, my nigga, dog. You understand the situations. You understand the boundaries. That's why I didn't really respect him doing what he did on Twitter. Yeah, it's like, like, my nigga, you understand the boundaries, my nigga. You came to the house. You know what I'm saying? Bro. And it's not even about him coming to the house. I have no reason to really talk to the nigga. I don't respect him. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I have no reason to talk to the nigga because I don't respect him. So it's just like, yo, 
you know, you doing all this on Twitter, my nigga. It's just like, yo, it don't make really make no sense, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can do this in person, my nigga, because I've seen you plenty of times in person, bro. And you're going to continue to see him. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, dog, all this is corny, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? This can't ever get to where the fuck, my nigga, you're trying to point it towards. Whatever your trajectory you know what I'm of saying? anger, whatever your trajectory of anger, anger is, it's not going to be that. It don't it, make no sense. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you know, you got people like yourself, my nigga, that understand, you know what I'm saying, certain dynamics, my nigga. It's like, yo, it looks good for you, my nigga. All that is great. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to call you an imbecile, my nigga. And leave the conversation there. Fully, but you, you know what it is? It's like, yo, my niggas, like, there would no be no comments. Like, are we giving them shine, and I'm we purposely doing that. Which, you, you know, know why? Let me tell respectfully, you why. I'm, I'm a little tight that you are, but it's no, all No, I'm going to tell you why. You know I'm going to tell you why? Because in the same breath, right, in the same breath of all that, is how that shit just happened, and we talked about it. Mm. You ready? Next conversation, next question. That's how fast it doesn't matter. Mm. 100%, bro. That's it. That's You see how fast you was ready to talk about some shit that don't matter? You get what I'm... We always have an explanation for some shit that never matters to us. Yeah. This is what I wanted to show people. Nah, respect. Get, um, off, of your, get off of your own but dick, But moving on bro. from that, hold man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get off of your own dick and stop taking yourself so serious. We're not that great, bro. Mm. We only... We getting better every day. Acknowledge that we're just getting better. We're not that good, bro. We're really not, like... We're not apex predators. We're not that. Mm-hmm. As human beings, like, give it up. Mm. Like, what do you mean, bro? I'm not the same person in your narrative that, that I'm in that person's narrative. You wasn't there. Mm. It's not for you to talk about. So stop talking about people's problems publicly. Mm. And if you feel like you need to, it's because you have no other attention in your real life. Mm. God got the rest, yo. Mm. This is this, That was for you. Thank you, my nigga. I, I... Nah, because I respect what you do. Because you know what you did? You know what you did? You beeline every time. You don't care about nothing. You be lying. You find your line. Every trip, I could knock you out right now. No, no disrespect. I'm not. Because I'm not that. It's, it's I could. Solid. I could duff you right now. You know what's gonna happen? This motherfucking building is gonna get bigger. Mm. That's what's gonna that, happen. My nigga. You know what I'm saying? Figure it out who you playing with. Look, you know, and some niggas will never figure that shit out. Um, Shout but, out to you know, it, it is what it is. You Shout know? out to Muse. Shout out to Noble, man. Thank you, Shout my out brother. to you, bro. You I, just, I just wanted to show you that. You see how volatile the situation got? Yeah. But when you realize what it was, you realize it wasn't that. It's not, bro. You know, and, and I understand you wasn't trying to come maliciously, bro. I 100% I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to niggas like that, bro, I just don't like giving too much attention, bro. Because in the end, for me, skills always win, my nigga. A nigga could run his mouth all day. Skills always win, my nigga. So I ain't never tripping, bro. Nah, you always win. You know you why? Because you've never been a bad person, bro. I've never been that, my nigga. It's so. not you. That's it. Yo, look at We talking about a bad person. You see how... Look at your mood change. <laughs> I love you for that. Is going. I love you for that, I bro. I try to show you something. Look at look at how much that means something to yeah. somebody that matter. We talking about who matters, right? Your mom love you. Mm. Right? Yes, sir. Your That's a fact. You. That's a fact. You. That's a fact. I'm gonna wake up and go out my way to go find somebody I don't love me and make them a try to help them make me love. Like, it's crazy. That shouldn't even. I can't even say it because it's, it's not crazy. real. Nigga, just off the camera, I have my I have my mom do take care of one of my clients. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that matters, bro. 100%. At the end of the day, the biggest deal is the fact that nigga, I'm gonna execute. We executioners. Yeah. You know what execution? <laughs> nigga, we fucking um, we we undertake a nigga tombstone and motherfuckers. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what them things come with? They come with a position. That means that your job is to finish it. Mm, That's respect. what execution is. We executioners. Mm -hmm. Our job is to finish. Mm. No attempts. No attempts, my nigga. My <laughs> nigga, bro. Yo, I see my nigga been going viral, man. My nigga got the fucking yo, bro. I see my nigga been going viral, on dogs. But now your bro, my nigga. Um, first and foremost, thank you for that, my nigga. Dog, I, I genuinely do appreciate that. I'm not somebody that, you know, goes looking for accolades. I'm not somebody that goes looking for a nigga to be like, oh, noble did this, noble did that. I just told you earlier, nah, pioneers are forgotten the about. You know what I'm saying? You so, are the accolade. It's just one of those things. You bro. Are the accolade? Dog. I, I, Don't ever forget, you are the accolade. I'm not trying to downplay it, bro. But you know how <laughs> it is. Fuck them niggas that so want much, you to be nigga. humble and be bitch, for real, bitch. My nigga. I'm not. I'm not y'all niggas, bitch. Fuck y'all. I'm I'm the accolade. Nigga. <laughs> I'm defeating odds and y'all looking at it and y'all hating on me on purpose. Y'all going out y'all way for this. Why? For what? I did nothing to you, gang. At all, my nigga. When I could. That's the difference. You forgot. I can do everything to you. 100 percent my nigga. Godfather. Look, I gotta ask you this, my nigga. 
because I feel like there's a heavy misunderstanding with this like pairing of words. But is it abstinent or celibacy, bro? Yeah, I've been fucking. I don't got. I don't even know what to mean. Yeah, man. <laughs> she's so dumb. <laughs> Yo, she ain't say nothing this whole time. Nigga, I said I've been fucking. She said. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I wanted to bring this up, bro, because it's like, yo, uh, I'm a marketer, bro, right? One of my biggest issues right now is this whole celibacy talk. Like, shorty, are you really celibate? Hey, yo, gang, I'm gonna keep like, yo, strong. are you really I'm celibate? Strong, Do you know bro. the definition, my yo, nigga? Gang, you don't sure. want no marriage? That's what you're telling me? I don't Yo. know too many shorties that don't want marriage, my nigga. So are you just saying celibate because it sounds cool? Or do you really mean to stay abstinent, nah, nigga? Nah, fuck marriage. A lot of women don't want marriage. They all, all women want sex. There's not a woman that doesn't want sex. That's the problem. See, sex, it's not a problem either. My thing is, it's not our business. As men, it's not our business. I don't give a fuck what she like. She like me that day, then I have to figure out what she like that day. One day at a time with anything and everything because it all has an expiration date. If you think about a relationship you've been in, you only think about when you started and when you ended. Mm. You ain't thinking about your ending when you're in a good relationship until it ends. The fuck you talking about? There's no, there's no, there's no uh, foundation when it comes to that. That's a fact. What are you That's talking about? Ain't no. What are you saying? Yeah. I don't. I don't even live there. Like I don't even give myself the credit for that. I got what I got, thank God, because I was a dog, bro. Yeah, you had and to I, get what you had to get, man. No, hell no. I got, I got, I got blessed. Uh. I got an amazing woman, like beautiful, mm. fat ass, Talk that nice shit. titties. Talk that shit. Fucking, uh, she's a doctor. Mm. Like we talking about women, a bitch can't even inbox me because she's not the woman that's gonna inbox me. Mm. She gonna see me at somewhere that matters. Mm. I'ma bag her at a bank. Type shit. I'ma bank her at a museum. Mm. I'ma bag her somewhere where it matters. I'll never sit here and bag her at a fucking convenience store because she ain't gonna talk to us. Nah, that's real nigga you shit, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, she's the you, woman that you just that. hold on. She's the woman that you just walked to the liquor store and she turned you down. She ain't out there for you. Her nigga, her nigga making sure she good. Mm. Fuck you talking about the nigga at the register. Know her, mm -hmm. and they gonna they gonna make sure everything good because we done spent fucking two thousand dollars this week. Mm. Everybody's gonna be there for us. I never had that. I didn't know what that was. I didn't understand when a woman Damn. candles themselves a hundred accordingly. 100%, yes, you sir. get to handle yourself accordingly. One hundred percent. Yo, my girl be the one to be like, yo, hold up, yo, I'm gonna hold the car up because she got the strength, and mm. I didn't even know that she did. It. I didn't ask her to. She mm. just did it, mm. and because she's holding it up in that moment. You don't let somebody you, you don't You're let somebody right waste now. their strength. You use their strength with them. Mm. She's holding it up already. Yo, go do your job, nigga. And we talk later. Niggas wanna talk before anything happened, bro. Everybody wanna control the narrative. Let the narrative happen. If that's a woman that if my motherfucking could pick up a truck, let that girl pick up the motherfucking truck. Hey yo, my man screaming to the heavens right now. Look, let yo. That nigga, pick that nigga scared to the goddamn heavens. Yo, bro. Cardo, bro. I love it, my nigga. For real, for real. Godfather New England, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all know. Um, but bro, you know, I I want to speak, you know, from that, bro, because I was that was an amazing dialogue right now. But from that, my nigga, you a nigga that told me, and we didn't even get into our dead dog something. That's that's how great the interview is so far. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, we were supposed to talk about the dead dog something, my nigga, and how you know what I'm saying, you're a college student, low key, my nigga, dog, yeah. Ooh. You're into um psychology, my nigga, as a major. Yep, you know yep, what I'm yep. saying? So it's like, yo. Knowing what you've been through, mm -hmm. the nonprofit, mm -hmm. the stories that you're telling right now, my mm -hmm. nigga, in terms of what your life has yielded, how important, my nigga, is it for you to be in college right now? What does it even mean to a nigga like Cardo? Like, what does that mean? And, 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 and I'll only say that because as a nigga like me, I went to college, bro, did my four years, and now I'm sitting on 47 bands of debt, right? But what does that mean for a Cardo, my nigga, in terms of the message that I'm able to tell you? You know what I'm saying? The thing about me is, like, I'm the odd. I'm what you didn't expect to go back or can go back. Talk your shit, bro. I'm here. You get what I'm saying? I'm See, here, let I'm me here. tell you something like this. See, we come from where you come from. I rap about a lot of things, but I also rap about some of the main things, and we'll talk about the main things. Women. Yeah. Drugs. Of course. And money. Yes, sir. Right? And I do those very well. 
Okay? Mm-hmm. Women, I move with, with discernment because I have sisters and I grew up with a mother and I have a daughter. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Money, I move a certain way because last year, not last year, but two years ago before I went to jail, I was up a half a million dollars and I lost it all. Damn. This is what I was building no attempts off of. Mm. That, hold on. Let me talk about the fact that I started no attempts with a million dollars in capital. Mm. And this is what I was saying about I'm about to take New England over. Mm. You know what happened? Two of my partners died. You ready? One of them killed themselves. Haitian nigga. The other one overdosed with a bitch that he wasn't supposed to be, be with. with. I watched two people's demise come from women. So let's take that out the equation. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm not the one that's supposed to be doing this interview, bro. I'm a dog. I don't, I don't know. I don't All know. right, so please, you... Please, please go ahead, bro. Now, All right, you, you ready you, now? talking crazy right now. Go you ahead. ready? Ready? So that's my money. But you notice how money, sex, and drugs all came into that? Of course. All in one? You understand? I had a million dollar company when it's I nasty started on work. paper. Nasty work, bro. Go you ahead. You understand? Gangster, look at me. Bro, helping people wasn't hard. Ask anybody. I gave niggas free studio time for a year straight. Come through. We in there, we in this motherfucker rocking. They know. 19th Central Street, Milford, Mass. I own a, I own, I own physical business outside of that. Mm -hmm. Tangible business. 19th Central Street, Milford, Massachusetts. I had everybody coming out there. You know what they didn't need? They didn't need their guns. They didn't need nothing. You know what they used to do? They used to park up and just come in and lock in. And lock in, bro. As they and that's should. it. And that's what it's supposed to be. Point blank and period, my nigga. I, I, I respect that so heavy, bro. No funny shit. Um... I want to start getting towards, you know what I'm saying, like, like, uh, like just like the lift off, bro. Um, or I guess like the, the landing. Um, but I want to speak more so to the project, bro. Let's talk about Please, it. Please, three songs, bro. Three songs, my nigga, dog. Cause it's a solid amount of, I believe it's roughly around 40 minutes, 38, 40 minutes, right? Total. Um, nah, we got like five minutes that's out. So if it's 40, it's 35. If it's 35, it's 30. Okay. Cause we had the time when you had the phone call. Got you, got you. Now I'm not talking about the interview itself. I'm talking oh, about the the project itself, the I totality. Pay attention. I pay attention nah, to respect, everybody. my nigga. I, I I know you know what I'm saying. You up on game, um. But I know the project minutes. is roughly like 38 ish, 40 ish. Like 40 minutes, minutes. right? Mm -hmm. So out of out of the records, I'll I'll tell you my three. You know what I'm saying? But um, please give the people, bro, from your artistic standpoint, what those three is. You know what I'm saying? Because even the way you broke down, block into a memory, is far past. What I was taking in as a consumer. I'll tell you what, Block Into a Memory was the whole project. I believe it. You know why? Because <laughs> I wanted that. Yeah, I, I wanted it, like Block it. Into a Memory to make you understand what it is. Because if you listen to the project, I literally start as like a nigga that's booming. Nicole, can you take with that for me? Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. You're looking at the first record, if you listen to it. It's like, oh yeah, I, I made amends with all the people I ain't mean to be for. And when the code came in, we gave it out in pieces. So that's the first intro, right? That's the intro. Yo, if you listen to every record, I'm bringing you niggas to the end of the record. I'm giving y'all niggas what my life was like before this happened. And at the end of the record, block into a memory is that, when I say block into a memory, is that I could turn your block into a memory or... I could sit there and turn what you thought was your block into a memory. Or I could sit there and be in there with the cell with you while you're sleeping. When you wake up in that mm. morning and you're like, damn, I got locked up. The block is your memory. <sighs> and then you could leave a nigga, you in jail. So now you waking up in the same sense, but the block is also your memory. <sighs> we can talk about... Being blocked as far as a nigga that's dumb enough to not understand what this song is. And you know what it is? The block that you made does not understand this is your memory. Everything is your memory. It's whatever you embed in your soul, bro. Blocking to a memory is more is more figurative than anything else. It doesn't stand in one place. If you really listen, you'll understand that, yo, we all susceptible to this one thing. And you know what that is? We could always make somebody's block into a memory, bro. We could be a memory in anybody's life. The same breath. If I die right now, I'm part of the memory. Jesus, bro. Yo, bro. I, this it's shit's all so memory. powerful, my nigga. It's this a shit's block so powerful, in a memory. Because we have a problem. It's negative and positive. That's what block into a memory is. Mm. The block is negative. Mm. The memory is positive. positive. Mm. 
into is the plus or the negative. The, chan- the transition, the transformation. The trans- you figure out whatever you want is yours. <clears throat> That's on you. Yo, bro, I respect that shit so much, my nigga, man. Um, damn, bro. Uh. For one, that's my favorite song on the project, just so y'all know. You know what I'm saying? It's my favorite song on the project. Um, if I had to, I guess, uh, give, you know, uh, close seconds after that. I got to give Dead Person with um, Ezzy Guapo. I, I, I love the dog, man. Yo, you know I love crazy? the mixture you know, he of shot, English and Creole. He shoots all my videos. Oh, for real? And then the video that I did with C's. Yeah. Let me tell you the story, right? So the Yo, last shout out to that, by the way. That's my dog. Hold on. Let me tell shout you the story. Let me tell you the story, right? So me and my nigga C's, right? C's pull up to my crib, my house, house. Mm-hmm. Cause he was with my assistant, shout out to Lady V, real nigga. Um, he pulled up to my crib with Lady V, cause she was like, "Yo, I'm with C's." I'm like, "What, nigga? Tell her you come to the house." Cause she came to get some whatever. She pulled up, got it, boom. And he was like, "I was like, yo, my nigga, listen, um, I'm about to go shoot this video. Pull up. This is when I was doing the last last freestyle. Mm-hmm. I already had it all set up. He pulled up to the crib, so we shot. I shot the last last video. Then I'm like, boom. I'm like, yo, you want to record? Cause I record and do whatever it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I record the record with this nigga, right? I look at him and I'm like, yo, you like it? He's like, yeah. I was like, boom, let's go shoot the video. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah. The fuck? It's a regular. This is like a any day. It's like a Tuesday. Like nobody gives a fuck about that. That mm. we shoot the video, shoot. We record the record, shoot the video, and that's what that happens. That shit happened like three, four months ago, and we dropped it. Nothing else. Wow. It was just off a basic connection because I fuck with him and fuck with me. Nah, he's a real nigga, bro. And I understand, you know, the past and the, you know, the the ties or whatever, bro. So for man, the fact shout out to all my crip niggas, you know bro. You want to say? You want me to say it? Go shout, ahead, bro. Go shout ahead. Shout out to all my crip niggas, big bro. It's 2023. Who's really beefing with Crips and Bloods? Like, who, who? That's not the beef we have a problem with. We got us versus the police. I hope y'all niggas ain't seen about now. I hope. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you done did your history to understand how the shit even started, to understand why it's at where it's at right now. But Jim Crow I digress. We doing Willie Lynch or Jim Crow. I, I, I heavily digress, bro. I'm so sorry, bro. We I heavily deep. digress. We gon' dig. We gon' dig. Because I'm a nigga, bro, like, yo, I'm not a nigga that harps too much on that whole black struggle shit. I'm going to keep it tall with you. We're Haitians. It's a little 1804, different, 1804, our it. revolutionary it. spirit. Nah, yo, and, and maybe so that's listen, a part of it. Nah, it's not. A, just a, this, that's, that's all of it. Because you know what? We didn't have to deal with that. Yeah. That wasn't our problem. I'm sorry, yeah. but that wasn't our problem. Bro. Yeah. And I, look at me. I'm not going to feel bad about the fact that that wasn't my problem. Mm. My niggas ain't snakes. 100%. We ain't going to sell you out to them crackers. Mm. That was y'all business. 100%. That's for y'all. 100%. I ain't got that problem. We live in poverty because we rather do this and <laughs> that. Mm. Nah, you're my dog, man. Yo, bro. You know, honestly, bro, I honestly got to bring this joint down to a landing, my nigga, dog. Um, bro, it's been a great talk, my nigga, dog. I, I love your passion, bro. I love, you know, everything you got going on, my nigga, got dog. Too, I'm, I'm praying, you know, everything goes the way you hope for it to go, my we nigga. We going to beat this one. You know what I'm beat saying? beat this one, too. You, you know how we going to beat it? We going to beat it because I live my life like I already beat it. Yes, sir, bro. I love that too heavy, my nigga. No funny shit, bro. Um, I love you more, gangster. Yo, yo, Cardo, bro, you know, and this, I gotta dap you up, my nigga, dog, because I'm some real shit. It's been years in the making this right here. Mm-hmm. My man Shock was supposed to be here, bro. Ended up not being that. We ended up having a one on one conversation, my nigga, dog, Zoe to Zoe, man to man, my nigga. And I asked for this. I said this from the <laughs> beginning. I said, nah. My man I manifested this shit. Nah, I ain't manifested. I lit a candle. Yo, listen, <laughs> Shaka, I'm sorry. you gonna get through the cold. Just take. Just, Honey, rum, and some lemon, <laughs> and you mix it up, and the curse is gone. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yo, hey, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> All right, bro, nah. All right, Connor, yo, bro, my nigga. Where can everybody follow you, bro? Now, where can everybody follow you, my nigga, man? Hey, yo, we bring it down to the land, dude, my nigga, man. I love this shit, man. I really love hey, this yo, shit. Yo, 100 round, Cotto, H, you went... Why am I doing this, bro? You're gonna put it on the screen. Let me do this. Yeah, all right, all right. Get the screen. It's gonna yeah. be like this. Over there and all that. Over there and all that. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be here. One of them. 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 I work. One of them. I work. What? 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 Hold on. Wait. One of them. I work. 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 One of them. I work.
Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, yo, man, look. It's Noble. Creator Museum TV, bro. I really got my dog here no with me, man. I'm drunk. I'm Honey Ron Cardo, man. Termana. Shout out to the. Shout out to the. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, buddy. Let me sit, let me sit next to you. Right next to the real nigga. Oh, that's why nobody sit over here. We ain't gonna yeah. say it on camera. Yeah. Hey, I love you, dog. Nah, likewise, hey, my nigga. Listen. Um, damn, shit didn't change. It's I different thought, now. I thought niggas had it together. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, nah, look, shout hey, out yo. to New Museum ahead, TV, buddy, 100 ahead. Round Cotto, Big Hundo, you hear me? You got to get the camera on this, and then you got to go back, and you got to look at me. That's my man. nigga, man. That's it. Look, noble. look. Let me get back to me, uh -huh. and then we figure out the fact that you smoke weed. Uh-huh. Hey, yo, one more time, man. Yo, my man, 100 Round Cotto, you know what I'm saying? No attempts. You know what I'm saying? New Godfather, New England. You feel me? My dog really like one of them real ones, bro. You know what I'm saying? Genuine brother. Great soul. Definitely go tap into the new project. You know what I'm saying? It came out in October. So you got, you know what I'm saying? The first. Look, October 1st. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Look, hold on. Wait, wait. You, talk, you, oh, you know what's crazy? Go you ahead, buddy. You ain't get to talk too much. Get on my move. Move. Thank you. Shout out to Noble and Museum TV. He's literally... One of the reasons why, as a black entrepreneur, I, I was able to know that I could do it. And I would be respected one day. Might not be today, but it'd be one day. But, I'm going to tell you right now. Shout out to the museum, because I want to get drunk. Gang. I'd like to thank y'all for pulling up once again with the Museum TV. And you need to like, share, and comment. Because we're going to keep exhibiting these stories. And you can find more right here.